equivalent input voltage noise density and current noise density over frequency and bias conditions, but there's more. We also conclude the noise from these tail current sources. Uh, they make a common mode current flowing out the input. Let me, um, let me draw another uh, differential pair here. Say that's the input pair of an op amp. Well, voltage noise density, we know what that is. Current noise density is actually a normal mode. Um, it's you know, current out of one and into the other, and that current noise is read out to a voltage by the impedance between the two nodes. That's current noise density. That's usually the largest noise density you have, current noise density contribution you have at an op amp. But this tail current has noise, and that noise is coupled to the inputs as a common mode current going out the inputs. And you know, all the, 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 the uh, noise contribution from current noises just depends on how those currents are read out to voltages. So let one be connected to Z1, the other connected to Z2. If you have the situation where Z1 is equal to Z2, then this common mode current is read out to a common mode voltage and is rejected by the common mode rejection ratio, so it's not an issue. But if Z1 is not equal to Z2, which is probably why you are using an op amp in the first place, then this common mode current is read out to a normal mode voltage, which sees the full gain of the op, uh, uh, amplifier, and that's shown on the output. We include that contribution also. So what we've done with LT Spice is we've um, developed exact noise models. And basically, um, the big picture is we did to op amps what we did to switch mode power supplies. You know, starting 20 years ago, we just, to, to model switch mode power supplies, we just did whatever was necessary to the simulator to extend it so that it could model switch mode power supplies accurately in a numerically lightweight manner. We just, you know, there's three different mixed mode simulators in LT Spice. There's all these other devices um, in LT Spice. There's um, a power MOSFETs. So starting about 15 years ago, LT Spice defined the state of the art of switch mode power supply macro modeling, and almost every macro model of a controller is in LT Spice. You know, there's 10 times more models in LT Spice than there are all the rest of industry combined. We just, you know, own the market for that. Then starting five years ago, we did the same thing to op amps, we just implemented what, what in the simulator whatever was necessary to make it possible to make a high performance op amp model. We um, uh, made a bunch of new circuit elements. We made a bunch of new functionalities. We extended the theory of, of noise. Um, so now we define the state of the art for switchboard power supply uh, modeling. Now getting back to the question about using TI, uh, LT Spice models in TI, no you didn't. The models in, in the, LT, the op amps in, in LT Spice, I'll show them to you. You can see what the models are. If you go view, Spice Netlist, this thing, um, this line here, dot live is the file, open. This thing here is proprietary to LT Spice. It's not in any other simulator. So I know you can't run LT Spice models in other simulators. They just don't have the technology. We've added this so that it's possible to make these models. This thing here is the noise contributions. There's the noise density, there's the corner frequency, there's the uh, common mode current density, and there's the corner frequency for this tail current source. And we can write equations there. We can make these things, you know, depend on bias conditions or whatever. You know, this is, that's the technology. And look at this, we have these functions called down limit and up limit. Those aren't in other SPICE programs. This gives me a piecewise linear that has a continuous first derivative, so it's more solvable. Uh, here's another A device. And look at, here's the, um, there's the noise density. This doesn't run in Tina TI. None of this technology is in Tina TI. So you couldn't have run a LT Spice model in Tina TI. I'm not trying to be proprietary, I'm trying to make it possible to solve by adding new technology to the simulator. And, um, you know, here I have these, um, 
uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, to get the small signal, I get these um, op amps that have all these parasitic impedances that does all of this noise reduction. So the thing is faster and more accurate than you can do if you were to cobble it up. I mean, this, you know, other simulators just don't have this technology in them to run this model. Okay? Fine. Differences, this waveform, this statement there. Dot wave, file name, number of bits, a sample rate, and what the write in the dot wave file. So what happens is, in addition to the normal simulation, the normal disk-based uh, waveform data, I've also authored a dot wave file with that waveform in it. Okay? And uh, this happens to be a codec that I can play on my PC speaker. So let's do that. So you can hear that? Yeah, reminds me of that night I got arrested. But anyway. And here's another source, here's another simulation that consists solely of a voltage source. And instead of giving the voltage source some boring value like five volts, I say wave file equals that, you know, wave file equals this file name. And I'm playing that wave file into this simulation. Yeah, I can see the faces. See, this changes everything. What this means is, you can design a high fidelity audio amplifier and then evaluate its performance by uh, taking your favorite CD you know, from Janis Joplin and playing the favorite, your, favorite, your favorite song from Janis Joplin about a color TV into the amplifier, take the output of your amplifier and write it to disk as a dot .wav file and then you can listen to it and judge how your high fidelity audio amplifier colors the tender timber of Janis Joplin's voice. <laughs> okay. <coughs> I'm sorry? Just don't listen to it through your PC speaker. Well, listen to it with a pair of reference headphones, okay? And then you can go back to your high fidelity audio amplifier design and take out all the valves, because of course you use valves if you design this thing, right? You know? <laughs> and, and replace all of those with transistors. MOSFETs. Transistors, right? <laughs> those are transistors? Mm. Use power JFETs. I don't care, whatever. And then um, repeat the experiment and listen to that track and see how the transistor version of the amplifier colors the tender timber of Janis Joplin's voice. And then you can compare the two. You go, hmm, valve sound, transistor sound, transistor sound, valve sound. And there it is. That's how I want to be remembered. <laughs> Once I give all this up and spend my days playing golf in the sunshine of California, I want to be remembered as the, per as the engineer that let other engineers resolve the valve versus transistor controversy for themselves, you know, while they're sitting at home in an armchair without ever getting near any hardware, just like the audio review people do. That's how I hope I'm remembered. But I'd like to, you know, tell myself I'm not completely stupid, right? I mean, I know that won't actually end the controversy because the Valve crowd will immediately point out, uh, no, uh, you did that simulation on a transistor computer. <laughs> you would have to build a Valve computer and do the simulation on that and see what the results are. So, so there it is. So I promised you it had no value. Let me tell you, putting WAV files in and out of LT Spice, it's just a joke. Um, it's all integer. If you want to play an oscillogram into LT Spice, this is how you do it. Right click on the symbol, go to advanced, PWL file equals, and then you can play an oscillogram from your oscilloscope into the thing, and then, you know, that. so there it is. So that's um, my part of the presentation. And um, let me tell you that um, I really appreciate you coming and listening to me today. I, um, 
you know, you probably figured out that LT Spice is the only thing I do for a living. And that actually does mean in any final analysis that your interest in LT Spice is, for me, as close to a matter of life and death as I care to get with a bunch of strangers. That's what that means. Uh, and, and the fact that you're interested in South Africa is great because, you know, I'm just simple white trash. I will actually fly to South Africa just for the frequent flyer miles. Okay, that's, I will do that. Uh, so thank you for listening to me. The, um, if you liked the seminar today, then you really owe your gratitude to Altec uh, Aero Electronics. They're, um, they're a great company. I've been doing seminars here. This is the third trip I've had to South Africa, uh, always for Altec. They have me come here because they love you. They put this on because they think it might be of use to you. That's why I'm here. They're a great company, and uh, they deserve your attention. So thank you much. Thank you. All right. Thank you.